let's look into the one of the important problem on finding the confidence so here first we'll find out the z alpha by 2 value and from that we will find out the confidence percentage so this is said to be one of the important for 5 marks or the for 10 marks and if you like my content please do subscribe to my channel so the first problem so in a study of an automobile insurance a random sample of 80 body repair cost had a mean of rupees 472.36 and a standard deviation of rupees 62.35 so if x bar is used as a point estimate to the true average repair cost with what confidence we can assert that the maximum error does not exceed rupees 10 so first so you can you, here you can see with what confidence nothing but the confidence percentage we have to find out so from this problem the given information is the sample of 80 nothing but the sample size n is equals to 80 and x bar is equals to 47 uh, here the given had a mean of rupees 472.36 so x bar is equals to 472.36 and the standard deviation sigma is given as 62.35. So that the maximum error does not exceed rupees 10. Nothing but the maximum error is equals to rupees 10. So this is the given information. Now we know the formula E is equals to z alpha by 2 into sigma by root 10. So this means we can write it as E is equals to z alpha by 2 into sigma by root n from this we want only the z alpha by 2 so when we cross multiply this it becomes 1 by z alpha z alpha by 2 is equals to sigma by e root n now i need only z alpha by 2 z alpha by 2 value so when i do reciprocal to all of the to the right hand side and the left hand side values so it becomes z alpha by 2 is equals to e into root n divided by the sigma so this is the formula to find out the z alpha by 2 when we know e n and sigma values so that is z alpha by 2 is equals to e into root n or root n divided by the sigma now substitute the values here z alpha by 2 is equals to e is 10 into root of n nothing but root of 80 divided by the sigma nothing but it is 62.35 so this value it is 89.4427 divided by 62.35 so this value comes as 1.4345 so this is the z alpha by 2 value so the z alpha by 2 is equals to 1.43 now from the table we have to find out the area when the z is equals to 1.43 so the z alpha by 2 is equals to 1.43 nothing but the z score is 1.43 so from the table we have to find out the area when the z score is 1.43 so already we are having a table so in this table the z score is 1.43 so it is a 1.43 nothing but 1.4 plus 0 0.03 so when i add 1.4 and 0 0.03 it comes as 1.43 so here if you see the first column will represent the value of z and this first row also represents the value of z so z score it represents the z score now when i add 1.3 so search this 1.3 on the left first column so here is a 1.3 plus 0 0.03 so here is a 0 0.03 so when i add 1.4 and 0 0.03 it comes as 1.43 so that area is 0 0.4236 so this is the area when the z score is 1.43 so the area is 0 0.4236 so here is the area 0 0.4236 that means the alpha by 2 is equals to 0 0.4236 now send this we need only the alpha value so send this 2 onto the right hand side so it multiplies with this value now alpha is equals to 0 0.8472 so this is the alpha value now to find out the confidence percentage just uh, we will multiply with 100 so 0 0.4872 is multiplied with 100 to get the alpha percentage value 
So when I multiply here, it comes as 84.72 percentage. So this is the percentage, nothing but this is the confidence. So here we are 84.72 percentage confidence that the maximum error is rupees 10. So this is how we solve the problems on how to find out the confidence.